Hey guys, so this is my 20 week update. Um, I'm 20 weeks and 3 days today. So I'll get on with it. <laughs> um, weight, I have gained roughly another half kilogram since last week-ish. Um, so all together, 4 kilograms at the beginning of my pregnancy and I think that's roughly 8 pounds, 8, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm I'm doing okay. I need to keep gaining at a steady pace, but yeah, it seems to be working out quite well at the moment. So maternity clothes? No, <laughs> I haven't bought any more yet. To be honest, I'm just making do with what I've got um, because at the moment everything I've got bits that work basically. I will need to get some soon because. Um, my like I'm at the moment I'm wearing the maternity jeans that I bought off New Look um, and they are getting a bit snug now <laughs> and I haven't even worn them that much I literally just tried them on and was like oh hello <laughs> they fit rather well um, but yeah so I'll probably have to invest in some actual proper maternity like other maternity jeans as well soon um, stretch marks no still no stretch marks but my tummy is becoming very tight um, and yeah <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't long before I got stretch marks but I'm hoping that the belly butter cream will work and stop me from getting stretch marks at least for a while anyway um sleep it's up and down to be honest it hasn't been too bad I mean I've had the week off so I've been able to have like lines and stuff but um some nights it's been more difficult because I have been feeling obviously a baby lot a lot more um like I said last week it sometimes keeps me awake at night because I'm I, I think I'm sleeping a little bit lighter and and I'm, I'm more aware of it um but it's only sometimes um and I keep needing to wake up to the toilet and stuff like that but otherwise it's not been too bad um best moment this week obviously was Tuesday when I had the scan um it went really really well um we got to obviously like she did all the measurements said everything was fine um to be honest the woman that we had looked she doesn't she didn't really talk a huge amount but just got on and did what she needed to do which was fair enough um but she she did say that baby seems to be pretty much like average i think like in the middle for everything i mean i've got some notes and stuff but um i don't quite understand it all <laughs> um so i might talk to my midwife about that when i next see her um because yeah, I don't really understand it all, but yeah, I, from what I understand, everything was fine. She took all the got all the pictures that she needed to, and then obviously told us what it is. <laughs> and if you haven't seen my video already, before I spoil it, go watch um, the gender reveal video. But if not, it's a girl. <laughs> um, and shock horror, I was surprised. <laughs> um, very surprised, to be honest. Because obviously I thought it was a boy and so many other people thought it was going to be a boy as well. I was in shock. I think I still am slightly. I'm starting to get more used to it after a couple of days. But still, it's still like new to me. And I feel like suddenly now I have to plan for pink things and girly things. When I, before I just was thinking boy all the way. And yeah, it just feels like it's thrown me a bit. But I'm obviously happy. I was going to be happy either way. But yeah. It's just so strange thinking I might have a, like a mini me, <laughs> but yeah. Um, miss anything? Um, not really. Not like between now and before pregnancy. I mean, it's going all right at the moment. It's going pretty well, and obviously this week was quite good because of the scan and everything's been quite positive. So um, the only thing I miss at the moment is seeing baby. I wish we had our own scan machine so we could see it whenever we wanted to but you know <laughs> um obviously movement yes obviously since basically since tuesday actually i've been feeling her a lot more and um i feel like it's it's still in the evenings more um but i was still, i actually feel her more during the day as well than i used to um sometimes it's stronger than others i find it tends to be when i'm sitting down not doing much and then after a while I suddenly feel it and I'm like, ooh! Um, does take me by surprise still every so often and Liam has been able to feel it a little bit too. Not really strongly but still like 
a little bit and obviously we know that it's baby like I can tell and yeah but it's really nice um, to be actually able to feel her more and it feels a little bit more real <laughs> um, food cravings not really to be honest just my appetite's been up more there isn't really anything in particular that I crave I just I don't know, I just get really hungry for food. I just really, really need food. My appetite's obviously expanded <laughs> instead. Um, so, yeah, just needing more food in general, not really anything in particular that I fancy. Um, anything making you queasy or sick? No. As I said last week, um, basically got over bacon, can have it now and not really fast. There's nothing else really that's putting me off at all. I felt a little bit queasy the other day, but I haven't really felt sick because of something in a long time so yeah I think that's pretty much gone gender obviously as I said girl uh, yeah <laughs> um, labour no obviously not symptoms still getting headaches um, round ligament pain definitely oh it's just been like when I get up and when I move when I've been like laying down or sitting down for a long time when I get up I feel really stiff and sore and like it feel like definitely feels like my muscles are pulling and stuff and I'm, I'm a little bit anxious and a bit wary I know it's normal but it does make you feel a bit like oh I hope I'm not damaging anything and like I don't want to get a hernia or anything like that so I'm like yeah just trying to take it easy as it were um, when it does really hurt but yeah I'm getting backache a lot more which I said last week um, else. I've still been getting heartburn and acid reflux a little but it hasn't been as bad as it was last week but I think that just depends on baby. I would have thought it'd be more this week actually but yeah it hasn't really. Um, yeah as I said earlier my belly still feels quite tight. Um, feels like it's definitely reaching I say its limit but then it keeps growing so <laughs> um, but yeah, it just feels really, really, like, big. <laughs> um, and boobs are still hurting a little. Not as much, I suppose, as last week. But, yeah, still a little bit. Um, I think that's it, really. Um, belly button in or out. It's still in, but the top part of it, is sort of poking out a little bit more. It's, I've got a ridge to the top part of it, mainly when it's at its biggest, which tends to be in the evenings, and you can see it a lot more. You like you can see inside the belly button a lot more than normal. Um, but yeah, I, other than that, I don't think it's not like properly out, but it's just starting to pop a little bit more. Yeah, so it might not be too long before it actually comes out, which I was weird. I didn't think it'd come out this early. I thought it'd be like later on. Um, but other people have been saying that theirs is doing exactly the same, the people on my app and that, so maybe it is normal. <laughs> uh, happy or moody most of the time, obviously been very happy, um, yeah, over the last week, I mean, it's been really good. We, um, the gender reveal picture that we I put up in the video, I put up on Facebook on Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, and, um, Obviously, we got lots of people saying congratulations and being really happy for us. And since then, it's been really, just really nice being able to share like the scan pictures and pictures of us, um, with baby bump and stuff like that, and actually being able to share it with everyone and not being so secluded from like the Facebook world and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice because people have been actually really supportive, and yeah, it's just been a really happy, good week. So. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously you're still finding, still a bit emotional, still finding things, you know, like, sad things still make me cry more than I would <laughs> normally, um, or sad little stories make me a bit, like, teary, but, yeah. Yeah, what are you looking forward to? <sighs> I don't know now. <laughs> um, since the scan, obviously, it's sort of a comeback down, as it were, but, um, in... Four weeks and 20 when well, I'm 24 weeks I have a midwife appointment so yeah that's the next big sort of thing for baby and um, so yeah other than that there isn't really much obviously going to be happening it's just a waiting game for in terms of pregnancy um, and progression and stuff like that so um, 
yeah, otherwise just looking forward to sort of, you know, the next things happening like we've got um, Halloween at the end of the month and half term which obviously for um, my work we sort of take half term off. Um, I'll probably work one day or maybe one or two days during half term but still it will be a little bit more of a break again. Um, and then like bonfire and I and then eventually Christmas so those are the things obviously I'm sort of aiming towards um, as my next sort of goals to keep me going along basically because it's obviously there's not as much exciting to look forward to. Um, hopefully we will be getting another scan, obviously we're going to have to buy one um, but we're not sure if we're going to do it this side of Christmas or after Christmas. We wanted to do it, try kind of do it at the third third way like three quarters of the way I should say which is obviously 30 weeks um, but when I'm actually 30 weeks is like Christmas I think it's like just before Christmas so it might be a bit tight and obviously we'll be spending money on Christmas presents then and so yeah it probably end up being after Christmas to be honest but we'll have to wait and see <laughs> um, I will update you guys obviously about all of that but yeah otherwise there isn't really much happening in the next week or so just catching up with friends and usual really <laughs> um, yeah but obviously it's nice that now that I know it's a girl we can start looking to buy girly bits and also I had loads of people bu like bugging me for Christmas lists and stuff already because obviously a lot of people only have like two paydays between now and Christmas because they get paid at the end of the month um, so they like my sister and a few other people have been asking for Christmas lists and stuff and I was like ah what so I made them wait until we had the gender scan so that we knew what it was so we knew whether we were getting pink or blue stuff um, and now I've made a list of everything that we need for the baby and then I've gone through and sort of what I'm what we're getting and what others could get us if they want to and obviously we'll evaluate what we've got after Christmas and go from there basically um, I mean the major things me and Liam are going to get anyway but yeah it'll be nice to hopefully have some more bits for girl, our little girl so yeah I think I shall show you my 20 week belly um, bear in mind that the <laughs> lighting is different again because it's a dreary day outside it's raining I don't know tomorrow <laughs> um, and so yeah I've had to put the lights on and so yeah it will look different but yeah and also I will measure my belly this time because I forgot last week so yeah <laughs> so this is my belly in the top and these are obviously the maternity jeans that I was talking about yeah in the top <laughs> you can actually see it now so. I don't know how well this is going to work because the belly band comes all the way up. So, I will try my best to show it properly. Don't know how well you can see it with these ones on because it actually goes like starts around here but I couldn't push these down very well. So I fitted rather snugly. <laughs> so yeah. My baby bump. <laughs> and I shall measure it. I think that's thirty four and a half. If you can see that. Yeah, that's roughly thirty four and a half. Measure a little bit up here. Yeah, it's still 34 and a half. See, in the evenings, it's bigger, but after I've had my main meal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Like, 
the lip of my belly button is starting to come out a bit more and you can see in my belly button a lot more <laughs> feels really strange because this pokes out of my top and people can see it 